<laughs> Robin. Hey, let's say hi to Justin Bartha from The Hangover, Hangover Part 2 in theaters Friday, May 26th. What's up, Justin? Hey, buddy. Good night, mate. Hey. Hey. Nice to meet you, mate. You don't, even have, you don't even have to promote this movie. We're hanging out. This know. movie doesn't need promotion, sir. <laughs> We're on the air, by the way. We always um, do this. Yeah. No one ever realizes. I'm quite excited like, oh, by this film, actually. Out. Of course. I yeah. love the first one. I can't wait to see this. But why? He doesn't have to promote it. It's going to do with big well, numbers. I want to come and hang out with you guys. I'm yes. Like, <laughs> yeah, of course. It's a big deal. It's an excuse. You know what yeah. I like about the new Hangover film, from what I can gather from talking to people? They've put all the other... The, the cast from the original film in it and just moved him to Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> so like, like Brian Callan, who played like the guy who ran the church in the first one, he, he was in my house going, oh no, I just I run a strip club now. <laughs> yeah, a few different characters. <laughs> Put a big mustache on him. Yeah. yeah. How much that made? The first one made, I haven't seen it. Everyone said it's fucking hilarious and really funny and it made like $400 million. Made 467. Half a fucking billion for a comedy? Worldwide, yeah. yeah. Wow. And it was uh, relatively these days, especially cheap to make uh, yeah originally so that's, yeah, it's yeah. To make that's, that's the biggest good. comedy that's of all good. time financially yeah that's I, thought R-rated. R-rated. I thought, R-rated. I thought Borat was the biggest the, R-rated. And R- that's great, R-rated R-rated yeah. is uh and that's you know a lot of people love R-rated comedies but they get so scared of uh chasing away uh, some of the audience yeah so you always cut out some of the harder shit and make it a, a PG thing. Uh, I love R-rated comedies, and they're making kind of a comeback where you know you're seeing some of the nudity, some of the cursing. It, uh-huh. It's a uh, a lot more fun to watch. I don't go for that. I, I, oh, something you can bring the family. Something you can bring the family to. <laughs> I'm like, good laugh. I like something that involves an RV and kids being really oh, upset yeah, about the trip. Wacky. Only yeah. Harry yeah. Chapin yeah. is driving the RV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something something where the dad ends up on the roof. He's a comedy star. Yeah. Yes, and he's also killed on the LIE. Yeah. Driving, so it's just always good. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, this really I, a good R-rated fucking ballsy comedy is yeah. nice, man. This one, yeah. the second one is Eve is really dirty, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, the first, I mean, the first one. It, it, I mean, uh, you haven't seen it, but it, it has a reputation of being a bit dirty, but it actually is a, is kind of sweet and it's like mm. a detective story. Mm. But this one is very down dirty. and dirty. Oh yeah. <laughs> what happened with Mel Gibson? This, we hear all these things that he was, was supposed thinking. to be in and he wasn't, and like, wh- what exactly happened with his uh, supposed cameo? It, you know what? It was just uh, he just it just didn't work out. Like any movie, the people get cast and replaced, and th- schedules and this and that didn't work out. It was just uh, I think it was overplayed in the press a bit. I mean, Liam Neeson replaced him, and now Liam Neeson's not even in. But it. I, mean, I, I, I heard, and I know because you, you probably don't want to say this, but I heard <laughs> from a very it's reliable he source. Hates Jews. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that was the case, I'd never get a movie. Now, <laughs> hang on, I've never been in a movie. Anyway. Um, <laughs> but uh, I heard that Zach and Bradley uh, both didn't want to be on no, the it's not thing. True at all. But they were cool with being on the first film with a rapist. Uh, well, that's, it struck me as odd. about Brian Kell. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't that. It really wasn't. No, uh, I mean, I, I think it was just uh, a lot. Uh, the biggest thing, I think, is that there was so much uh, press surrounding his uh, life at that point, mm-hmm. and that he, there might have been a small concern that it might have overshadowed, in some sense, when we have to come and do these shows, even though we are talking about it anyway, <laughs> overshadowed the uh, actual promotion for the movie anyway. So, mm. I, so I, whilst in Thailand, did you that. bang a hooker? Oh, I did it while I was out there. I don't did have you? AIDS. Did you? And he doesn't have AIDS. She does. I don't, I don't have AIDS. So she I, I, does I, I can say it. I, I kept that secret for like six years. And did now you that I don't. Did you in Thailand? Yeah. Did but you bring her with you when you I went? Or I you don't have her AIDS. There? So. Huh? I don't have AIDS, so it doesn't matter now. I did. <laughs> you got like a real adult hooker, I hope, not like you know one of the fucking ones Thailand is. Yeah, was it a twelve-year-old boy? No, it, was, or was it, a real... <laughs> it was a proper girl. I was out there doing gigs, you know. Was that yeah. the first time you've had sex with a hooker? That day. <laughs> 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 that morning. Uh, Jesus. Oh, okay. So that uh, that's. Uh, I bet he was a high up producer. You know, I mean, it was probably some some someone what? someone behind the scenes who no, just didn't just want him. No, just a normal in. girl, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're talking about two separate things. Yeah. Hey, I, wait a minute. I'm not sure. I sense a Three's Company episode. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what it was in Thailand though? Like it, yeah, you, yeah. you had to go to Thailand? Yeah, we all went to Thailand. I mean, yeah. a lot of the movie was shot in Los Angeles, and then the whole uh, we moved everyone to uh, Bangkok and then uh, Krabby Beach. Is now, Brody I, in that one? Brody Stevens? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brody's, Brody. yeah, yeah. Brody's the best. Yeah, he's great. A lot. Yeah. I uh, a lot of people have an impression of Thailand looking a, a lot like the set for like Full Metal Jacket and stuff like that. Uh, Thailand's uh, lovely. But, but I, I I know I just recently saw some video of there and it was uh, it's kind beautiful. of a nice big city and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Bangkok. I, yeah. I, I, uh, it's a big city. Nice. I don't know. Really? Is the word to describe it, but it has some really. It's an interesting. It's packed I've, and, and uh, crazy. Very crowded. I love it. Yeah. The food's amazing and it's cheap as shit, man. For like a dollar, you'll get like the best street food. In my opinion. And a hooker. Yeah. <laughs> and and the, that hooker. And I, I, I hear there are and a hooker. Are there really shows where you know they take the straw, they put it in and blow the straw, uh, yes. the dart out of their There's vagina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's light for for what. That's really there. like. Li yeah. li did you did you partake in any of those? Uh, uh, did I shoot uh, ping pong balls well, out of not, my vagina? Not shoot them out of your vagina <laughs> no. per se. Yes. Uh, uh, but we did see some shows. See we some of the we, local we saw some shows. Yeah, saw some shows. What, what was the best uh, show you saw? Donnie Marie was the best show. They're touring there. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. I was different. They're different. You gotta tell us, you gotta tell us she about one. a balloon off his head. It's yes. amazing to watch. You gotta tell us one show you saw, sir. Uh, it, well, I saw the usual, uh, you know, um, uh, ping pong, ping pong uh, ball launch, and right? then there were some other things that I saw that I actually have blocked out of my memory that I can't <laughs> even mention on on this show. Like, when so when I first went to Thailand, I got I got sex showed out. Like you know, I got to the stage where I went. Enough. You're like, you're not really? doing it. I just want to go to a regular bar where I can drink with regular people. And this, <laughs> this guy takes me into a bar, and I'm like, this is nice. I like this. This is normal. There isn't sex everywhere. And then he points up, and it's a glass ceiling. Oh. And it's just women with numbers written on their ass sitting... <laughs> Sitting on the sitting on the glass, so you can shop for him like a lobster. <laughs> wow, <laughs> true, that, true that, story. That I got caught just, lying in one of those clubs. It was fucking embarrassing. Wow. I, I told somebody something, and then we we're talking, and I, I just <laughs> slipped. I was like, Johnny Ola took me here. <laughs> 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 Johnny Ola. That's a good 1974. Uh, yeah, great, <laughs> <laughs> nice current reference. I, I would just pick lottery numbers that way. <laughs> 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 great. Winner, thank you, ladies. You know how bad of Either way, you've already won. <laughs> yeah, true. You know how dirty a pussy is after not only has it been fucking a lot of people, but it's been sitting on glass. You know how dirty that glass is? You know they don't wash it. Horrible. Yeah. That's a job for windows. Yeah, that's the dirtiest the, thing about that yeah. pussy. Some guy <laughs> pays. The glass is the yeah, yeah, exactly. Sure. Some sicko <laughs> pays to lick that clean. Oh, <laughs> some some sicko? Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, really? Are we so, looking at that sicko right now? What else did you do? The glass uh, looks like your fucking windshield after a camel spits on it in jungle <laughs> habitat. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're promoting this movie perfectly. Yeah, Hang over. Did you ever fear uh, fear for your so. life or safety when you were there? Because no, that does no, seem no. like kind no, of one of those places. Pretty, so you feel Is pretty it safe, safe yeah. there, yeah. And yeah. Thailand in general, by the way, it's not just, uh, you know, <laughs> camel shit. spit hookers. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. I mean, I'm not promoting Thailand, but it is beautiful. Like the northern Thailand, Chiang Mai. I mean, there's amazing places in there. How long were you there? Uh, uh, a couple months. Fuck. Wow. And they and I was and then the other guys were there for even longer. Wow, damn. That's cool to be in a fucking big movie. Don't worry about getting malaria or something. Uh, no, but <laughs> I'd yeah, be worried you, about you do that. Have to worry about it, but no, yeah, no. water. You get bottled water. Worried about water? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you got to drink bottled yeah, water. Sure. Yeah, you know, so when the girl shoots the ice stomach, cube, stomach, so you know everything. <laughs> it's uh, very difficult. Me. Yeah. Everything really? bothers. Oh, yeah, anything sure. with any spice to it. Yeah, uh, a little exactly. Touchy. I would go there. Yeah, I I don't know. I'm, just, I'm so it's, xenophobic. It's a weird. Like, th it. they, they have a like they have America. a king. <laughs> they have a king, and everyone in Thailand fucking loves him. Really? It's not like the queen in everywhere. Yeah, every if you could have the shittiest shanty fucking hut, and you'll have this ornate picture of the king. Well, if you could go down and just pick a girl from glass it's ceiling. It's like in most countries. I mean, no, no, a lot but of like, kings like there. yeah, no, but I mean in England and stuff. Then, but you, you get on. A, I was on a boat and I made some joke about the king, and the cunt almost kicked me off this fucking boat. <laughs> like, like, don't you joke about the king? And I was like really apologetic, like, sorry, just get me back to shore. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I've never, uh, never been to anywhere He's like that. He's a faggy I'm... looking guy as well. And now, now he is, but on the boat he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the fucking, on the boat he was all like, hey, I didn't mean that. No, no disrespect. <laughs> they wanted to kick you off the boat for that comment? <laughs> Strange. <laughs> So, um, who, who else is in this besides... Uh, by the way, this is how I knew the fucking Hangover was a massive movie. Because Ozzy, when he opens his shows, does a, a fucking very funny montage where he green screens himself like into all the biggest movies of the year. And it's always f very amusing, and that was one of the ones... Really? I was so annoyed, because fuck, I was... Zach is on the fucking screen with fucking Ozzy. I was so jealous. <laughs> yeah. you, you knew Zach before Hangover, right? I've known Bef Zach for fucking a Before many, all his many fame. Years. I, I we did it. Uh, I forgot he was in a show called Apartment Two F on MTV, which oh, I did stand up yeah. on. Uh, and the Sklar Brothers, it was their show, and me and Florentine did it. That's fucking ninety four, ninety five, maybe. Oh, oh Jesus! Back in the beginning, I just cursed to spice up a boring that, story. That just <laughs> proves that whole thing that people always say, like someone like Zach Galifianakis, they act like he just came out of nowhere like two years ago. Yeah, and the cunt's been doing TV since ninety four. <laughs> He's been around for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no one was. really utilized him, right? Mm. I mean, I you know, I, yeah, I was a fan of him since then too. But no one, you know, he was just put in uh, shitty kind of uh, things. He yeah. was a weird guy. He always had like an alternative act. Like he was always yeah. definitely diff a different comic. He was never oh, like yeah. everybody else. Well, I remember from stand up New York when he was like a little small guy with blonde hair, I think, and then he really? just lost his fucking mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's some of your earlier works? Uh? Some of my earlier yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. That maybe you weren't, um, you know, looking back, it's like, oh boy, that was a that was a ladder rung up or a due to pay. Well, I mean, my, uh, well, the first movie I ever did uh, was a movie called Geely. So that you oh, can't, yes. get, you can't well, go, you can't go. Uh, that's wow, a, that's the Jennifer ben Affleck. Lopez yeah. thing. That ben was, Affleck vehicle. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> that that that, right? Ran into an abutment. <laughs> that, <vehicle. laughs> that, 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 <laughs> that was the abutment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was. How how does that feel though? Because that was getting trashed before it even came yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Feels you great guys to, start to, to still be talking uh, about it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he wants us to move on. I'm sorry. I know he's doing the Hangover too, and you're like, so Geely, who is the production yeah. manager? <laughs> <laughs> we just got to beat everyone down that comes in here. So no, what, you're in New York for two months? What was that like? <laughs> yeah. The guy's the promoting is, the biggest movie of all time. Let's talk yes. about his biggest failure right. of all time. But the thing, I'm just trying to get the mindset when you, when before the movie <laughs> even comes out, it's being trashed. It has to be a morale fucking downer. For the entire cast. I yes. Yes. I will answer that. Yes. yes. Well, I mean, yeah. No, I mean, no one sets out to make a, a bad movie. Do you know? try to put that that strong face on there with the rest of the guys? Like, hey, it's all right. Once this opens, we're no, or do you no, all just no, know? No. Like, oh, I, was, fuck. I was like was depressed in my little apartment. <laughs> but sure, sure, side. you did some oh, interviews about the film quit. where you said it was excellent and stuff. <laughs> like, lied. Uh. At the no, time. I mean, I, I, well, it's it, it's uh, I don't I don't I don't know. I mean, you don't say it's excellent. You say you know I I actually don't think it's the worst movie of all time. But yeah, but uh, yeah, you, really know, you work hard. Jesus. You work hard. You do you know just like your show. You work <laughs> for years on something. And right now you you're promoting Geely Two, <laughs> yes. which is uh, coming Electric out in Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> you can always tell when an actor hates the movie they're in though when they're like, uh, so is it any good? Look, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I had a mortgage. When, I had a when, no, when, they, when they always go to this sentence, it was just great working with this director. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Such yeah. a fun crew. Everybody was well, so the nice. The service was fantastic. Yeah. But Good we should, weather. Yeah. We should explain Good to Justin. Weather. Justin, the only time we get A-listers on this show is when the, the movie needs help. Yeah. Oh, obviously right, not. Right, right. Obviously not in this case. But the, the tide is changing. Yeah, you still don't have him but over the years, we, <laughs> I mean, we, no. we had Will, Willem Dafoe. Like, holy shit, Willem Dafoe's doing our fucking show. Right. And the movie turned out to be the biggest fucking piece of shit ever. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, Platoon. Yeah. Platoon. 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 Right. That <laughs> stupid movie. Platoon. 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 Garbage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guy Ritchie. <laughs> Richard Dreyfus. Dreyfus on we fucking had Dreyfus. Poseidon. You're like fucking Dreyfus finally doing our show, but it was because it was Poseidon. And he was weird. And, too. and the movie needed help. Dreyfus in the room these days. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 I yeah. guess. Uh, you, you can get him as a voiceover around. for your yeah. life. I remember. <laughs> He's changed since the graduate. I remember he was. <laughs> one line. <laughs> one Jim line wasn't right. always this confident. 
Jim used to have problems. You know, one of those things. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right, though. Dreyfus was weird that day. He, he's a weird he, guy. When did Dreyfus he, come in here? For the Poseidon no, adventure, Dreyfus. the remake. Yeah, that's it, exactly. No, be an Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> and you knew he, his heart wasn't in it. Someone forced him to do a little press for this damn thing. Yeah. I thought well, there's some, you know, I mean, he did like this off, off Broadway show a couple of years ago where he couldn't, oh, I feel like a bad one. Yeah, I suppose yeah, he couldn't uh, remember it. the lines and like they turned it into a reading instead of an actual oh, show. Oh, <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, well, it happens. happens. It happens. What are you going to do? It's like at the exactly. end when Brando, they reckon, like, on the island of Dr. Monroe, Brando just Monroe? <laughs> Dr. Monroe. <laughs> Dr. Mitch Voss was here for a second. It was the guy from Dr. Marvin Monroe. The guy from Dr. Marvin Monroe. Starring Jim J. Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> Monroe. <laughs> But he couldn't remember the lines, so he used to put, like, cue cards on the other Everywhere. actor's foreheads. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people do and, that. And everyone thought it was great. Wow. Everyone thought it was great acting, and he was, like, going, and then... And then he ate the cue card. <laughs> <laughs> I love that about Brando, that he, he just had such... And he hated Rod Steiger and fucking He the Night, and he I love the fact that he was such a pompous fuck, but he was so good. You, 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 everybody hated him, but he was fucking. He's the simply the greatest. Why did he hate? He was Spider the Jim so Norton of the acting world. He yeah. really was. Yes, the fucking uh, <laughs> the, the. I can't even think of a funny comparison between me and Brando, uh. except for the end, maybe when he tried to break into his refrigerator and get ice cream. <laughs> That's how. By the way, his kids liked him. It was a kid lynching. At least you know what to well. do with it. <laughs> no, it really did not. I could have been a better father. Uh, yeah, he's, he's wonderful. At least he knew what to do with his hands when he was acting. He sure did. He fucking choked that bitch in fucking streetcar named Desire. That's how you... Why did he hate Steiger so much? He just he thought he stunk. Really? He thought his acting was fucking like math, eh? He hated those guys. Him and Sinatra couldn't get along either. There was a big thing, because Sinatra used to do everything in like one take, and Brando used to take like 20 times until he got perfect. And, yeah. And Sinatra used to call him Mumbles. Hey, he'll come back when Mumbles is done. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, but in the Bogart, I heard he, he, Brando and those guys apparently had no respect for guys like Bogart. They thought they were old school and terrible and fucking one yeah. level. You know, in a way, they were mm. they were right comparatively. It was before the technique kind of came out. Yeah, the technique. How many? How many? Air how many technique. Uh, are you? Are you? Uh, one take uh, done. Ed Wood kind of a uh, one take and done. And I wish. <laughs> do, you, do you rehearse a lot? Because I hear a lot of like great actors. I don't want to rehearse a lot because I think because what, what is it? Clint Eastwood says you rehearse your mistakes too much. If you oh, yeah. I found the same. Clever. Oh, you it weren't asking on. me. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Jim. Go ahead, Jim. No, no, no. I thought he was asking me, but he's... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it depends on the thing, the project. The project. Yeah. Did it come naturally, like, like, uh, or did you really what, have acting? to? Yeah, yeah, because I, I mean, uh, not really. No, I mean, I did like the the whole school thing for all years. Yeah, yeah. Do you know it's hard to do when you act? I'm from on... the Midwest, so I didn't like grow up in the thing. I didn't really know what it all was. In what we call the business. Yes, I, I, yeah, I didn't sure. know anyone in the business. <laughs> the business. See, what's really hard to do? I saw Chris Rock's play. I thought he was really good. I mean, he yeah, was with Motherfucker of the Hat. Yeah, really fucking good. Man. Bobby Cannavale is great. Oh, He's phenomenal, dude. And you couldn't see that Chris like really did belong on that stage, which was nice because you know comics have such a bad reputation. Um, the only time I saw any anything with Chris that looked uncomfortable, and I, I was because I was looking for it, <laughs> was when Bobby kind of Ali was doing a monologue at Chris, and Chris had to to stand there and and, and listen. I could see, and it was such a nobody noticed it, but I know that the most uncomfortable thing for me is to stand with nowhere, nothing to lean on or fucking hide behind and have to listen to a guy talk. It looked like he was standing like, like I posed. Was, but yeah, but it was such a minor thing. That like, that's seem like the a hard, that's a hard thing to do. I, I think that's the hardest bit in acting. The bit what are you going to do? Just stand there? Because you practice your lines, but you yeah. never practice when you're not doing just lines juggle. as a comic. Just yeah. start juggling <laughs> yeah. or something. Or, or overly gesticulate. <laughs> like, oh! <laughs> 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 what is wrong with that? Guy? <laughs> I always find like, I always find like a scratch on my body, like. Yeah, that's a nervous thing of too. Oh, we got a scratch. Yes. I don't know why in the middle of the fucking yeah. And what are you, you, what are you doing? It's natural. You're yeah, like, oh, I'll be scratching. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone do, scratches. Yeah. Everybody hey, has scurvy right. in this yeah. movie. I, I scratch in general life. Because <laughs> I, I, I guess you don't realize like it's very hard to mimic what you do in real life during a real life situation and bring that to acting because it seems like it would be easy. Right. It's like, okay, I've stood and listened to somebody talk. Hmm. Why can't I do it 
and just like I'm doing it. Why can't I be fucking a hooker right now? <laughs> yes, like in Thailand. I... <laughs> you can. We'll, 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 we'll get that young magician back for you. Yeah. No. Oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. But when you listen, you don't move. <laughs> Nobody moves when they're listening. You just kind of listen. And it's talking it's, about the big lad. It's instincts. It's, it's instinct to fucking nod and not die in the scene. But sometimes you, you do. listen quietly. Sometimes you like lean your hand or you're, you're looking or you might even just look away for a second, look back. Yeah, you like, do. Uh, yeah, but but you're, if you're acting, it would be like Mr. The Fabersham? But like, is I'm, <laughs> but you're out overthinking of the question, it. Out yes. of the question. Because all of a sudden you're overthinking it. You're not right. just being natural. Yeah, anymore. yeah. Well, but, I, I've been doing auditions at the moment, and I, I, who's I, sending you out? Um, I'm just <laughs> so I, 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 I've been I've been doing all right, but as soon as I can do the American accent, but as soon as I do it with the American accent, my I, I can do the accent fine. But Wait, my acting, acting, my yeah, acting goes out. Okay. My acting goes out the fucking window. But let's hear it. And all of a sudden, I'm just hey, hi, my name's stuff. Bob. How you're all going? You know, it's just fucking yeah. wank. If I can't speak in my own accent, I'm fucked. You, yeah, is that you, is that what it is? But how many roles? I've got nothing. I auditioned, <laughs> I auditioned for the original Hangover in uh, for Ed Helms' role. You were too big a drunk. <laughs> I got, I got, <laughs> they, they thought this guy's playing drunk really fucking good. They don't want a drunk. They want someone that can act drunk. Yeah. <laughs> that was a very organic American accent. I'm surprised you didn't have yeah, a part of the wire. <laughs> oh, God, it's Idris Elba. I always, I always, like, cause, cause I always, I always look at like, like when Hugh Laurie's on House, and for me that sounds yeah. like a terrible American accent, but everyone goes, because it's always like, you don't have a problem there, sir. You have a, you know what I mean? Like I can always yeah, say it's like obvious. a British guy just over enunciating everything that he oh, says. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a comedian. Very. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I hate him a little he, less he, now. He, I hate a, that show. He despise it. He, uh, you, you ever see um, Blackadder? Blackadder, no. Okay, Blackadder is like a classic yeah. um, Rowan Atkinson okay. sitcom, um, and he was he was in that for years, and he's also in a Hugh and um, uh, Laurie and Fry with Stephen Fry. I don't know if you know Stephen Fry. I hate the way all these fucking pussies at like Entertainment Weekly think he's amazing, like he's this quirky character. Fucking assholes. <laughs> 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 fucking lips with a cane. Like him, I guess. His eyes are all wide. Oh, that, that whole show goes <laughs> like this. It goes, uh, I have a problem with me. We think it's that. No, it's not. We figured out what it is. <laughs> the every, end. Every episode. <laughs> yes. Roll credits. Yes. We, we Who figured knew? it out. <laughs> Thank God, House felched that cadaver. He <laughs> saves everybody. Jesus. <laughs> you do uh, any TV? Uh, I have. Yeah. yeah. I have done a couple of TV. You, things. you like it as as much as movies or uh, more or less? Mm, yeah, I like it. Moves faster, but TV's tough in that there's there's like a lot of cooks in the kitchen. Like there's like a right. studio, a network, mm. a director, a producer. Everyone like ha thinks, and it's all like everyone just wants to make money, which I understand. But they're yeah. like, if the show gets picked up, then we're gonna be millionaires. So they just water it down and water it down for the most part. Uh. The good shows that you see, it's usually because there's one guy that's brilliant that's running the show that people are afraid of, and then they just let him do what they want to do. You, you, it's like it's like Ricky Gervais got away with that, didn't he? Because he was just they just gave him the money and he just fucking yeah. Threw it. I I wrote, was, a, I wrote a sitcom for Comedy Central. It went through nine hands. Right. But that and was each a, time some cunt fucking put a note into it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Make him a little bit more likable. Yeah. Everyone had to justify yeah. their fucking job. If yeah. you were just yeah, the person yeah, yeah. who passed it on. I think it comes to a point, though, where you need to be in the right place at the right time and have to be severely underestimated yeah. in how people are going to react to it. Uh, that happened with even, like, Seinfeld. I mean, mm. you know, that was a show they're like, eh, okay, do what you want. <laughs> And then, uh, like, Ricky Gervais well, with the office, on the office they, they was said, like, yeah, do what you want. He said, it's one camera, it's one room, we're using one yeah. room. And they well, went, even after, like, two or three years of the office, they were like, this is going to fail. <laughs> well, yeah, I did a show when the office was, like, uh, was uh, like in the second year. Do you mean the American and, version? And uh, yeah, the American oh, okay. version. Yeah, the British version. And they, they were to, so. I, uh, for NBC and NBC was like, oh, we can't make your show single camera because single camera shows don't work. We're going to cancel the Office. And this was like the year before it took off. And we're like, well, it's a brilliant show. What are you talking <laughs> about? Dummies. Wow. You know. And Louis C.K.'s show too. That's uh, like yeah. uh, that's a show that I think they just let him do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we got some time, a little bit of money here. Well, Let's a put cable Louis thing. in a corner. Well, Louis is yeah, yeah. on cable. In, in my yeah. opinion. Louis just so talented yeah. that eventually someone had to just go like just let him do what he wants. Do what he wants I to love do, watching Louis's off. credits. Like I get a fucking chill down my spine when I see Louis CK walking around with a pizza going, written, directed, edited. <laughs> yes. it's, it's just like he got in a room Music and said by. You're all fucking idiots. <laughs> I'm a genius. Just trust me. I'm gonna do this yeah. all by myself. That's why Justin's definition is amazing, because you're naming all the guys that had complete control. 
Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. As soon as you, those are the the successful. You said ones Louis C.K., Seinfeld, yeah. Larry David, Gervais. Ricky Gervais. They all. No one was telling you them what to do. Too many hands around man. comedians. I so, mean, even like you know, true, red guys. Yeah. That so are obviously, right, good, right? You know, they uh, still don't learn. But obviously, yeah. Mm. That, thank you. No, never. You, never, you think never. they would learn with all these examples I'm, of guys well, doing people it correctly? People want to keep their job. I mean, you under, you have to understand from their perspective. People want to keep their job. Oh, believe me, we know. We we look down this hallway. You get same thing. Justifying their job. writers who are just failed comedians. These guys who are just because. You know, they're not gigging so they can sit there and write all day. And, and like, your agency gets you and goes, oh, here, this guy's going to write with you. And you're sitting in a room with this bloke going, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> What's worse than somebody? What, there's nothing. There's I no greater that. sin than Jim bad writing. Bad, somebody who, I hate collaborating with people. I fucking hate it. Because they, so do we. <laughs> oh, and, and no, 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 no. I mean, if we want to get into this now. <laughs> <laughs> An innocent comment and real shit comes out. Like, well, you know, whatever. <laughs> I think you look like weird. a fucking douchebag in that hat. Yeah, well, fuck you. You're weak. Jimmy, Anthony never forgot uh, earlier in the show with the YouTube girl. I don't blame him. We never fucking forgot. Poor Anthony. Anthony's a bit of a pederast. And there was, uh, <laughs> a, bit, a bit of a pederast. Yeah. He's a big star on Megan's Law. <laughs> he likes hot goofy. So he saw this girl. Like, girls that are hot and a little goofy. She's got a YouTube channel. Yeah. She's little, really hot. A little she's young. Too. Quirky. And, and yeah. a little young. Oh, I don't like them my age. I like, yeah. I like, <laughs> for sure. I like something with a terminal illness. So <laughs> I don't feel guilt when they're molested in their adult life. <laughs> I li- I like, Holy shit. I like, Jim. A, ch- I like a child. I'm saying that. I like a child with pajeria at two. So she looks like she's 20. <laughs> so she she still has the, the, the look of an of a adult, but the feel of a child. That's I'll like, oh, to die. Die. God, that could be. Well, Justin's got to go. The most offensive thing <laughs> right. that's ever been said on this show. What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's oh, wrong with you? Oh, Jim, it's like methadone for pedophiles. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't help yourself. And you're cheering. My ears are not garbage cans. <laughs> <laughs> no, I pointed out a girl on the internet uh, that does right. this uh, Hot. goofy videos yes. and stuff, and she's of age. Yeah. Okay. My God. They're all of age, aren't yeah. they? <laughs> they're of age. And uh, <laughs> they were making fun of me. And Jimmy's like, I don't think she's funny at all. I don't find her entertaining. I don't find. And I, I pointed out three out of her 20 videos that I thought were, you know, Humans. funny. That was yeah, fun. Like a YouTube but, star. Or yes. yeah, yeah, one of those YouTube things. Right. He yeah, watched ten. Go. He secretly liked five or six, but he pointed out the three fucking, the Best three ones. breakout stars of the videos, <laughs> no, and it's they were just not all, your cup of tea. It's no one's cup of tea. They were fucking hideous. She gets millions of hits, and what I just what found about it what she funny. does? What about the banana peel on the face? You know, he, Ant, but Ant didn't think that was funny. <laughs> He's like, wow, I'd like to fuck that girl with the banana peel on her face. He didn't think it was. He didn't laugh. <laughs> Ant doesn't laugh at that. He's a fucking. He like laughs at racist yeah. Nazi jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got blinded by yes. the beauty of it. A all. banana peel in the face? Yeah. No. But it's the context. What of a the specific peel fetish that is. That <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It really is a niche fetish. Banana peel face fuckers. <laughs> 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 really got to troll the internet to find those. Yeah, dot com was taken. Dot <laughs> <laughs> org. Oh god damn man. So uh, all right, it's you, Zach, and uh, and it's the who? same people. It's okay. the same movie yeah. in Thailand, but dirtier. Are you on the movie poster? No. Are you, you were missing in the first one, right? I was missing in the first one. Yeah, he was. Are, 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 are you, you with the three guys on this one now? As much I, or? I, it's the same kind of thing. They, I don't get lost, but I'm, uh, I, I kind of stay at uh, the resort. There's a resort where Ed Helms' character is uh, getting married, and I'm kind of uh, base camp for them. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had seen the first Every, one. Everybody just looks and it's goes, yeah, DVD, really? Jim. No, no, I, know. I, I honestly don't watch a lot of uh, comedies, but I, 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 get I'll, it. I certainly will watch that. You know, the twist in that film, because I saw it the opening weekend, I felt like such a retard for not picking don't, it. I I'm not, not going to tell it. you what it is, but there's a twist in the film. Andrew's on the road. And I didn't pick it. I was really upset. What <laughs> You don't want to know, Jim. No, no, <laughs> it's okay. You don't want to know. It's all right. <laughs> Someone told me Bruce Willis was dead. What? In the um, Sixth Sense. Yeah. Oh, right. and After it was over, because I hadn't figured it out. I'm like, why is he still holding his ring? Hey, uh, why did he change his shirt? You had to be told after. I didn't know what happened. I'm like, oh, yeah. oh that makes no, sense. I, I actually, uh, with my ex, I, I watched uh, Star Wars, and that's a weird one, because she just didn't know that. 
Darth Vader was Luke's dad. Oh, it's like, really? It's like meeting someone who's coming that? from uh, over fucking it's like, oh, from oh, space. In the first one, I didn't like, know. You're going to be fucked. You're going to go mental <laughs> when, when you find out what's happening in this film. <laughs> wow. Like, I was looking, she was like a child. Like, Does that make it entertaining for you to sit yeah. there and look and go, Because now oh, you're just you're waiting you know, for bit, the reveal? There's, there's a bit where he puts out his hand and he goes, yeah. come and help me. Like, and he's like, oh, this isn't true. And she's like talking. You and something fucking watch it. <laughs> Doing. This is the biggest thing that's ever happened Fiddle. anywhere ever. Oh. <laughs> Justin's got to go. Roland's telling us. Oh, Roland. Hey, really fast, uh, Mike Tyson. How is it hanging out with him? I, I know you've been asked uh, this a cool, million times. Man. I mean, he's like the sweetest uh, that, guy I know. ever. We he all really learned, we all learned really that really from the sweetheart. documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim, I mean, Jim, it's, Jim met him, too. I met him a couple of times, yeah. yeah he was very nice. You want him on the show so, so bad. Sweet. Oh, he would come on. Nah, he's so cool. Tried. We've tried. He didn't do press that day. He just did uh, for his pigeon thing. Yeah, if we if we if he does press, we'll get him. But he was. I, I imagine that the thing that's scary about him is you have a feeling with him. Is most fighters you know wouldn't hit you unless they absolutely had snap, to. You're saying. Yeah, yeah, Mike, you don't feel that professional <laughs> novice or non-professional barrier. Like you know that as a it's a man to man thing. If you really bothered him, he'd smack you in the face. <laughs> yeah. Like he is a fucking scary vibe yeah. to him. You don't oh, yeah. want that. Is there any force? I, I hosted the Porn Awards in '03. Oh, and that was bragging. a good game for porn. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe who won best blowjob. I mean, I don't want to get into it now. But Jim just... Norton. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to let it go from uh, there. Right. Right. <laughs> this is going to be days, I by walked the way. into that one fucking pallet first. <laughs> <laughs> you walked into that one mouth open. I really did. <laughs> fucking. Uh, uh, but I, I met him on the... Uh, the floor. Uh, Mike Tyson? Uh, was yeah, that the porn uh, he was the porn awards. It was the, uh, him and 50 Cent came to the AV. He, he won best rape that year. <laughs> <laughs> he's, by, he's right behind you. Yeah, oh shit. <laughs> he won, no, he won. I fucking, I actually just fucking repeat what he said. He came on the floor of the expo, and the, cleaned up. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> he came on. No, I didn't even get that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm fucking uh, poor. No, I didn't Jimmy. get that either. Uh, I didn't get Sorry. Back. When did this um, fucking turn into a Vlasic pickle commercial? <laughs> <laughs> Shecky Green, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, wow, they are getting nervous out right, there. Right, He's right, really got to right. go. But the force yeah. that comes with him, when he oh, yeah. the energy of a fucking of, of a heavyweight of Mike Tyson is a, it's an amazing. Well, plus, we all grew up. I mean, well, I mean, oh, I was God. obsessed watching yeah, watching too. him just so storm you know out of the he corner. Can do physically. I was in rehab the first time I heard of him. Kid Dynamite, I think it was what it was called right, on the yeah, cover yeah, yeah. of Sports Illustrated. And I just wanted to I just wanted to end the conversation with a really <laughs> boring fact about myself, and I managed to do that. So in part of the course. This is accomplished. Oh, what are you well, do? Justin, yeah. thank you, man. Uh, I guess we're done for the day anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Hangover 2, and when's that opening? Uh, Memorial Day. 26. Memorial Day. Oh, 26. Jesus. Jesus. Great week. Uh, this thing's going to be huge. Uh, wow. Yeah, that is. That's great. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for having me. Great That's to like see you real, guys. like a real a uh, real movie yes. actor guy. We don't <laughs> usually get many. Believe me. Unless you're well, on your way down. <laughs> like sorry, you yeah, said yeah, earlier. Sorry, but but he's not. No, he's not. He's not. not. Justin Bartha. Up there. Thank you, nice. sir. Thanks, man. You know, thanks, I think we're there. He goes. Today, so. People are chasing him out oh, of here. Jim Jeffries, Caroline's all weekend. Yes. yes. Those tickets will go thanks, fast. Uh, Let's take a photo two one two seven five seven forty one hundred. And uh, Norton, thank you, sir. I will be. And also uh, the oh, podcast, uh, uh, talking shit with Jim Jeffries and Eddie. If you want to come back tomorrow, yeah. Jimmy's gone. I'm, I'm here. I'm here, man. All right, yeah, we'll have Jim Jeffries back it. tomorrow. Also uh, tonight, I will be on Fox's Red Eye. Nice. So uh, tune in and watch the shenanigans with. Um, those clowns and I. All right. He's a cool guy, Justin, man, right? Yeah, he's yeah. a nice bloke. Yeah. Where was it? Yeah. Fucking magicians nice worked bloke. out well. Yeah, he's, he's, a nice he's, bloke. he's a nice bloke. I've noticed when I try to do the Aussie accent now, too, I, I think I'm just nice imitating bloke. Jim. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do a Jim well, your, your impersonation of me is Jack Sparrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's true. I'm all over the place. It's very <laughs> difficult. I'm trying to do Australia. I can't. Is this good? I, I'm not, I, don't, I don't do accents, but this one's oh. good. Little shrimp on the barbie for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly it's uncanny. <laughs> it's uncanny. <laughs> There's a shrimp on the barbie. Oh, hey, this is a bunch of kangaroos. <laughs> well, I, I, I found out now after doing the podcast, a lot of people have been writing to me, and my accent, I, I allegedly to Australians now because I've lived all over the world, sound like a complete cunt.
<laughs> yeah, and, to know, Amer- and to I'm, Americans. <laughs> yeah. I have this muddled up half half thing, and I'm the oh, biggest. Oh, man. It, uh, uh, call me a poser and all this stuff. So I don't even know what I fucking sound wow. like anymore. Because are you like, I think it comes off as half Aussie, half English. Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. All right, a little With more. Some American thrown you in. You want some Thanks. more Aussie accents? Please. Hey, that's my didgeridoo. <laughs> 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 Throw a boomerang at it. Uh, yeah. Hey, there's a boomerang coming back. <laughs> That's got a circle, my didgeridoo. <laughs> the hoppity, hoppity kangaroo. I swear. Hoppity, hoppity kangaroo. <laughs> amazing. Hey, oh, how amazing. much can a koala bear? <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Chip. I was in Australia. Australian Chip. Down yeah. under what? It's like it's the breed. Oh, <laughs> oh Chip. Uh, all right, look. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I want to do magic. Well, uh, tomorrow's fucking Friday. 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 Nice. Friday. nice. Yeah. Fun, I'll see you guys fun, fun, um, fun. Monday. I'm in D.C. tomorrow night. And we're doing something at the Pentagon for a wounded soldier. So that's why I'm gone tomorrow. Really? And, uh, oh, yes. oh. Um, it's a, you know, it's like a, 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 a lunch or something. You're going to get to go into the Pentagon like that? We are, yeah. I'm bringing a hidden camera. Um, <laughs> I'm going to expose some shit. Oh, they are going to fucking... No, you're going to pay for that line. But then I'm back for a... Oh, I'm sure he'll search you before Body you go cavity in. Search. We have a camera crew shooting some of the stuff and all that, but they can't go anywhere near the Pentagon. I wouldn't think so. Yeah. But I've never been there. Hmm. I've been invited a bunch of times, like the White House and stuff. To, to, I want to go. To the yeah. Obama dinner, and I'm like, I was, I was busy. Oh, sure. I understand. Were you really invited? Are you no. Oh, right, right. So wow. I would love to I go. I don't know how the American system yeah. works. Oh, yeah, yeah, everyone could just trot on into the White House. In the a, Pentagon in, should in, be In cool. Australia, the, the Prime Minister's house, he just has an open door policy. Come on in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you come on in and just keep the dingoes in the yard? He's just, <laughs> he's just barbecuing in the backyard. Yeah. yeah. Anyone can go over there. Constantly. Anyone yeah. can go for a sausage. Sizzle. <laughs> Why don't you come over? We'll have a Foster's Lager. And uh, don't forget Vegemite. We'll all watch Breaker Morant. Oh, I, I fucking love Breaker Morant. Yeah, Gallipoli's too. a good film. Oh, You're hey, Eric here. It's a good film. Yeah, Gallipoli's good. Gallipoli, I never saw. Oh, it's a good film. It's like Mel Gibson's second film. and uh, it's, it's a battle that uh, the rest of the world really doesn't give a shit about. <laughs> but it's a, it's a, it was Australia's number one sort of thing. Yeah, in yeah, World was... War One. that was the one that we got fucked over. Where they made him go over the bunkers and just the English were like, we are we are doing very well. Send the Australians and the blacks over, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. And the, yeah. the Australians and the black guys were like in Operation Body Shield. <laughs> <laughs> so they it. Yeah, that is a good movie, man. Yeah. Very good. I saw Break of Moran. I said, somebody better fix it. <laughs> Jeez, Chip. I think it's time to leave. All right, right, Chip, yeah, on that note, (laughs) I'm out of here. We're having fun. All right, everybody. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. (laughs) (laughs) Bye-bye.